Hi ROM hackers, I'm Sasyata and I make Pokemon games. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own hard level caps in Pokemon Heart Gold. Let's get started. Before we get started, you need to have HG Engine already installed. This is a huge upgrade to the Battle Engine and more in Heart Gold, and this will only work for Heart Gold ROMs, not Soul Silver, Platinum, or anything else. So this is a little bit limited in its scope, but it's amazing to use. If you haven't used HG Engine before, I have a separate video that details all the ways you can install it and use it. So you should go check that out first before continuing the rest of this video if you haven't seen it already. We want to go into our HG Engine folder. So wherever you have that installed, find it. And you're going to want to click on the folder Include. And then you're going to open up the config. This config file will do a lot of really cool things automatically for you that the devs of HG Engine have already made for us. First of all, we have things like implement fairy type automatically. We can change which gen experience formula we use. We can define mega evolutions, primals, and so much more. We can also implement uh, wild double battles, capture experience, and more. And we can also implement the new IV and EV viewer, which Blue Rose coded just for garbage gold and then made public to everybody else. But what we're really looking for today is the implement level cap, which is another thing that Blue Rose made specifically for garbage gold and then also made available to the public. Uncommenting out this line makes it so that your level cap variable defines the highest level that a Pokemon can possibly be during the game. All we need to do is just make this variable equal to a certain number somewhere in our game and we'll be good to go. You're going to want to run make jobs and this compiles the ROM with all the new configurations as well as all of the other things that you've changed. So once you've done that, this should output a ROM named test.nds, and I've renamed mine to test with new encounters or test second split. What you want to do is open one of these things in DSPRE 1.10.1 or newer, and if you have that already, great. If not, you can just look it up. DSPRE 1.10.1. I recommend getting it straight from the GitHub releases here, and so you'll want to download it from here. I'll leave this link in the description if you don't already have it. So you want to open up this ROM in DSPRE and you're going to want to implement the level cap somewhere yourself. So this doesn't automatically set it, you need to script it yourself, but don't worry, it's super, super easy and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the beginning of the game and I want to make the level cap equal to three. So you can't level up too much in the beginning. For an example, in the current game I make it. Now what we want to do is we want to find which event header this is. So uh, I know what event th header this is, um, this is 063, and so I want to open up the scripts, and I want to also open up the events, and I also want to open up the texts. Now, we're going to, uh, at some point when the trainer walks down the staircase, your mom's going to come over and tar start talking to them, and I know that that script is just script 1. You'll notice that I set the variable ox416f equal to 3 here, using the setvar command. That's all it does, is it just sets this variable if this hex number equal to this number. So uh, variables don't have names, unlike regular computer science, they just have numbers and then they have some value, it's an integer associated with them. So this basically just takes our variable from here and it sets it equal to three. And so now our level cap is equal to three. But we wanna let our player know that that's the case. So we wanna have a little message go along with it. And I usually make a message in our text bank that just says level cap now set to whatever the number is. So set to three. And you can just copy and paste this every time you make a new level cap update. And then you're gonna to wanna to obviously close message, release all. And I usually just append this at the end of another script that's already playing. Uh, so I can just attach it in there and be like, hey, level cap has been updated. But let's take a look at what this looks like in game. So here we are in game. And we're gonna come down the staircase here. And we're gonna to talk to our mom. She's gonna say hi to us. And she's going to say today's a big day, time for you to visit Newbark Spring, all this cool stuff. And she's going to give me all of my bottom screen items. And at the very end, it says level cap is now set to three. And so this will make it so that no matter what, if I use a candies or experience, it will not level me up past that level. You can actually take a look at this real quick. So you notice I have my Moltres now and I have some more candies from my new Game Mythic Silver I'm making that uses level caps. I'm just going to go into my bag and I'm going to select my rare candy. I'm going to use it and Moltres is already level 3 and so it won't have any effect and it just closes out. And you'll notice also if you go into a battle that you won't gain experience either. So there it is. That's how you make level caps in Pokemon thanks to the implementation of Blue Rose and the many hours of work he has put into the HG engine. So I hope this helped. If it did, um, please drop a subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos about how you can add lots of cool new features such as auto trick room and auto sunshine and other weathers in HG engine as well. 
So I hope you had a great day and I will see you in the next video. Sauce out.